Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi guys In this video We want to discussion about the material The material is the student's perception On the characteristics of effective and ineffective English language teachers Okay, before we are explained into detail about this material I'm going to introduce our member group The first one is Nabila Ananda Khairia the second one is Adaram Danisha and the last one is me, Asfiani. There are four tables of contents that we will explain one by one. The first is introduction, the next is objective of the research, methodology of the research, and definitions of case terms. The next is review of related literature and the last is findings and discussions. Okay, the first is introduction. Schools are one of the first places where students' behavior and future educational success are shaped. There are four perennial truths that make the teaching and learning processes possible to take place in the classroom. If one of these is not evaluable, there will be no teaching and learning process. They are teacher, students, material, and the last is context of time and place by Rajit 2012. Teachers have an important role to succeed in the teaching process. Teachers are careless of positive or negative behavior towards students. Students tend to imitate a teacher's behavior. The teacher's whole personality is a reflection that children unconsciously adopt these virtues as the ideal behavior. The ideal teachers who took, who took, who took his or her took words and action gave and had a life that could serve as a model for students to imitate and follow. As teachers, should build good relationship with students and strive to be effective teachers for them, and should avoid some criteria that could categorize them as ineffective teachers. The second material is objective of the research, methodology of the research, and definitions of case terms. Objective of the research The objective of the research is to describe the characteristics of an effective and ineffective English language teachers so that the English teachers can have a broad and wide knowledge to follow to be an effective English language teachers as well as actions to avoid in order not to be an ineffective English language teachers. The next is methodology of research. The first is respondents. The respondents of this research were the students of English education department that have experience of having been taught by several kinds of English teachers. There were 20 respondents grouped into two groups to answer two different kinds of questions. The next is method, instrument, and procedure. This research employed qualitative method by applying coding of qualitative data. The main instrument of this research was that in the form of ESI. The ESIs were collected from the students. The data analysis was carried out by following the grounded theory procedure and technique comprised three steps, open coding, axial coding, and selective coding. My name is Adhira Malaysia and I'm going to explain the material. The first one is definition of the of key terms. You can see it, there's a three option. The first one is coding. Coding is the process of examining the raw qualitative data which were in the form of words, verses, sentences, or paragraphs. 
and assigning cards or labels artinya coding adalah suatu proses pengujian data yang dapat berupa words, phrases, sentences, or paragraphs dan paragraf dan juga pemberian label atau kode yang kedua is open coding we sweep through the data and mark by cycling or highlighting sections of the text selected codes or labels for example we cycle words or phrases describing the behavior of the head of department yaitu suatu kegiatan dengan memberikan tanda kepada data-data yang ada yang ada pada kode atau label untuk dijadikan sorotan dengan ya dengan memberikan tanda pada poin-poin tersebut yang ketiga adalah actual coding we have a, if we have a large number of codes and we'll find it necessary to sort them into some sort of order or into groups this this one is called actual coding two, there's two common types of actual coding they are non hierarchy non hierarchical and hierarchical artinya actual coding adalah suatu kegiatan apabila kita mempunyai suatu data yang sangat besar dan ingin menyusunnya dalam grup atau dalam suatu urutan maka kegiatan tersebut dinamai dengan actual coding and the next material is number there's number three review or review of related literature as as we can see there's two researchers the first one is Anton Lee in, two, in 2003 and the second one is Al Sweet in 2012 Anton Lee found out that there are five key factors that provide the foundation for a good teaching the first one is teacher knowledge, enthusiasm, and responsibility for learning uh, ada pun itu adalah pengetahuan guru, antusias, dan tanggung jawab dalam pembelajarannya yang kedua adalah classroom activities that encourage learning atau learning atau yang kata lain kegiatan dalam kelas yang dapat memicu atau mendorong pembelajaran yang ketiga adalah assessment activities that encourage learning through experience yaitu suatu aktivitas yang dapat mendorong pembelajaran dengan memberikan experience experience dari seorang teacher yang keempat effective feedback that establish the learning process in the classroom yaitu memberikan feedback atau masukan balik agar mendukung pen, agar mendukung proses pembelajaran dalam kelas dan ada pun selanjutnya yaitu effective interaction between the teacher and the student yaitu interaksi yang efektif antara guru dan siswa creating an environment that respect encourage and stimulates learning through experience yaitu dengan membuat uh, lingkungan yang lingkungan yang saling menghormati membangun suasana belajar dan dan memper dan memperagakannya melalui memperagakan atau membantu proses pembelajaran melalui experience and the second one is Al Sweet in 2012 he conducted a research and showed showed the result that there was revealed statistical signif significant difference in the participant perceptions in favor of native English speaker teacher NESTS jadi ia menemukan dalam 
penelitiannya tentang perbedaan pandangan dari partisipan di dalam NISTS Students show more preference for NISTS as they go higher levels jadi student menunjukkan lebih banyak preference untuk NIS in NISTS as they go to level yang lebih tinggi students previous learning experience may affect their general preference for NASTS since they were taught by both types of teacher subjects also exhibit exhibit an explicit preference for NESTS in relation to the teaching strategies adopted however the participants showed moderately favor favorable attitudes towards non-native English speaker teachers who provide a serious learning environment and a favorable response to learners needs all teacher do good things some of the time and all good teachers do bad things some of the time the difference among the teacher not only in proportion of the good and the bad but also in the awareness of the effects of what they are doing in their share with their student next one is number four findings and discussions there you can see there's two table and the table is about the data of an annex effective teachers by this table the first table is teacher personality as you can see number, number one is placing and the next one giving attention to her students loving her job being funny and understood an understandable person calm helpful close to the student students honest self-confident not conceited being courteous to his college not easy to get angry kind discipline a nice person not merely easy to be angry patient responsible having a good attitude friendly being strict having a warm personality and being perfect and you can see on the right side teaching performance there is two letter ada dua bagian yaitu teaching method and mastery of material as you can see mastery of material tidak not mer not merely using textbooks atau tidak hanya menggunakan textbook mungkin bisa menggunakan experience experience nya adapun yang di sebelah kiri kita bisa lihat teaching method teaching method di dalam table nya ada there's 13 13, 13 list as you can see on the number one is not using old method demonstrating experiments showing authentic material showing picture of the object changing complicated subject into the fun one agar tidak membosankan dalam pembelajaran next one is formulating interesting techniques menggunakan teknik teknik yang unik the next one is encouraging the students to speak English yes so they will be always speaking English in the class the next one is, the next one is explaining the lesson accurate so there is no any misunderstood between the students the next one is asking the students to find the difficult word the teaching techniques were interesting giving some English songs to melt the situation giving common expression to the student before class over well I'm still discussion about the date of ineffective 
teacher is category teaching performance. The way treating the student, the first knowing how to appreciate the student and building the student spirit and giving reward, motivating the student, treating student like friends and never salted and not mocking the student feeling nervous and supporting the student and encouraging the student and the last calling the student with honey or baby uh, the next the death of an effective teacher is category classroom management and the first making classroom funny and comfortable and creating enjoyable and relaxed class solving the problem easily and effectively and applying many kinds of games and the last bringing the student to study outside the, outside the classroom and the next teacher competence or, or professionalism uh, the first having in-depth knowledge about the subject or material and brilliant having a wonderful ability being smart teaching the right answer and can speak many languages and the last in the death of innovative teacher is category is teacher teachers appreciance the first handsome cute hair cut pointed nose smiling fast good looking having a clean skin and the last being it Okay, from the data, the following principles were, were taken out from the depth analysis in the form of SI for considering the characteristic of effective English language teacher as follow. The first, the first, having a good and pleasant personality that can make and create a good relationship with the student to have the material easily, comfortably. An effective teacher also celebrate his or her student success by praising them. And the next, showing an appropriate teaching performance that includes teaching method, material mastery, and teacher behaviors toward the material and classroom management to cover all the students need in order to encourage the student to have a higher achievement of the student. A good teacher should be able to consider the needs of the student and then decide on the right approach to be used in his or her class and the last showing a good appreciation does not always mean that the teacher should be beautiful or handsome but he should show a nice looking to the to his student uh, well dari data-data yang sudah saya sebutkan tadi dapat digunakan sebagai bahan pertimbangan untuk karakteristik guru bahasa Inggris yang efektif karena memiliki kepribadian yang baik, menyenangkan yang dapat membuat dan menjalin hubungan yang baik dengan siswa untuk mendapatkan materi dengan mudah dan nyaman serta menunjukkan kinerja pengajaran yang sesuai meliputi metode-metode pengajaran, penguasaan materi, dan perilaku guru terhadap materi dan pengelolaan kelas untuk memahami semua kebutuhan siswa guna mendorong siswa untuk berprestasi pada mata pelajaran dan seorang guru yang baik harus dapat mempertimbangkan kebutuhan siswa dan kemudian memutuskan pendekatan yang tepat untuk digunakan di kelasnya dan yang terakhir menunjukkan ke menunjukkan penampilan yang baik dan tidak selalu tidak berarti bahwa guru itu harus cantik dan tampan tetapi dia harus menunjukkan penampilan yang baik kepada murid-muridnya 
agar yang maksudnya di sini adalah penampilan yang rapi agar murid yang mengikuti pembelajaran tersebut akan merasa uh, akan merasa semangat dan tidak bosan. Well, the next I will discuss about the date of an ineffective teacher is category unacceptable personality. Uh, the first, unfair, boring, bad tempered, scary, unfriendly, lazy, happy, bad attitude, cheating, and like to take revenge, like to tell the student weakness to others, and the last, absent for the class without any information. And category unacceptable performance in the classroom. The first, the bad way in treating the student, uh, not answering the student question, ja judge the student by saying stupid, scold, scolding the student, not like to be asked about the material, and refusing to be correction and not realizing his mistake mistake and only like or focus on the smart student and not care not caring about the student misbehaviors and expressing expressing bad interests and making the student feel terribly insecure and always still behind the desk in classroom and bringing forward the personal problem into the classroom and making the student as object of freeing peeing out about his re re righteousness and action corner and the category action co confirming with the teaching method the first giving excitement without explanation before and boring teaching method, no jokes or refreshment in the classroom, and no change for students to speak, and bad teaching method, the text causing the student to become lazier, and no discussion for the give excitement, and never check the student excitement, always giving this action to the student using Indonesian language and asking the student to do tasks in the textbook all the time every meeting and never giving the student something special and the next incompetence mas uh, category mastery of material the first, uh, unable to answer the student question. The explanation is confusing, um, weak competence, and or incompetence, like lack of creativity. Next, always focus on the textbooks and imperfect lesson. And the last, not knowing what to teach or not mastering the material classroom management and the first getting herself without considering the student need and creating a boring class and lack or interpersonal intelligence and less attention to his student and the last not knowing the student background and the next category unacceptable oppressions the first being uh, being spill soft and dirty and the last not dressing neatly and cultured so from the that from the date the following principles were taken out from the depth analysis in the form of SI for considering for considering the characteristic 
all benefactive English language teacher as follow the first having an acceptable personality that can relate the teacher to the problem with the student and the competence this includes material mastery and classroom management if a teacher feels large of test to elements it is suggested to have more training because there are the most important thing in teaching how a teacher can manage the class if he is poor in the classroom management as well as material mastery and of course he cannot teach well if he does not know what what to teach and the last having unacceptable or bad appreciances an english teacher should always show the good appreciations because if he has bad appreciations it will attract the student concerns of judging of their teacher Nah, seperti data-data yang sudah saya jelaskan tadi tentang karakteristik guru yang tidak efektif, maka dapat dijadikan sebagai bahan pertimbangan, bahan pertimbang untuk mempertimbangkan karakteristik guru bahasa Inggris yang tidak efektif. Karena yang pertama, memiliki kepribadian yang tidak dapat diterima atau yang dapat mengarahkan guru kepada hanya kepada masalah siswa saja dan Ketidakmampuan ini termasuk penguasaan materi dan pengolahan kelas. Jika seseorang, jika seorang guru merasa kekurangan kedua elemen ini, disarankan untuk melakukan lebih banyak pelatihan. Karena ini adalah hal terpenting dalam mengajar. Bagaimana seorang guru dapat mengelola kelas jika ia kurang baik dalam pengelolaan kelas serta penguasaan materi tentunya ia tidak dapat mengajar dengan baik jika ia tidak tahu harus mengajar apa jadi hal yang terpenting untuk men- hal yang per- terpenting untuk menjadi guru yang efektif adalah penguasaan materi serta penguasaan kelas yang baik dan yang terakhir adalah memiliki penampilan yang tidak dapat diterima atau guru seseorang guru bahasa Inggris harus selalu menunjukkan baik karena jika penampilannya buruk maka akan mena- akan menarik konsentrasi siswa dalam menilai gurunya. Nah, e, di sini adalah di sini yang dikatakan adalah penampilan penampilan seorang guru itu haruslah lebih rapi dibandingkan penampilan e, siswa yang di sini adalah Conclusion is the student perfection on the characteristic of effective and ineffective English language teacher may vary when thinking on an effective EFL teacher in general. One may list a number of theories of characteristic. This characteristic can be sorted in a more specific manner when listing the quality of an effective EFL teacher. As a matter of fact, the characteristic of an effective teacher will determine the success of teaching and learning process. Okay? I think enough. Thank you for attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.